Have you heard of Neville Goddard? He's one of the great spiritual teachers and authors. In today's video, we'll discuss three words that can transform your life, bringing a completely different version of yourself into this world. Whether you wish to manifest any desire or a completely different life for yourself, these three words can work for anything you want. So, stay with me until the end of this video, and I'll give you those three words you can use to generate any change in your life. Hello and welcome back to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hello. As I mentioned, we'll be addressing this topic today, so let's begin. The Neville Goddard technique we'll present is extracted from the book The Law and the Promise, written by Neville Goddard. This three-word technique has given life to many success stories. Many people who have actually tried this technique have claimed that they obtained the exact results they desired through this manifestation technique. It works wonders for most people, and I can confidently say it will work wonders for you too, if you practice this method following all the instructions I'll give you shortly. This technique is simple but extremely effective, so I'm sure everyone listening to this and paying attention will want to try it. Now, this technique will take only about 30 seconds of your time. But before we start with the technique, I want to share with you an amazing story that Neville Goddard mentioned in his book The Law and the Promise. It's an example of how this technique worked for a woman who needed money and financial stability in her life. She was going through a phase of financial difficulties, looking for work but not getting any, wanting to buy a car but not having a job that would allow it, and even having trouble paying rent. Then, this woman heard about Neville Goddard's technique, which completely changed her life. In her own words, she said, I began to apply these three words instead of thinking and imagining everything I needed. I tried to capture the feeling that something wonderful was happening to me, not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. I repeated these three magic words over and over before going to sleep. I repeated that action and imagined that feeling for two months, night after night. Then, one day in early October, she ran into a casual friend she hadn't seen in months, who informed her that he was about to take a trip to New York. She used to live in New York many years ago, and they talked about the city for a few moments before parting ways. A month later, on exactly the same day, this man went to her apartment and simply handed her a certified check in her name for $25,000. Now, how she got that $25,000 check was surprising, because it's a large sum of money. She continues the story that her friend, while talking to a person the woman knew when she lived in New York, had become incredibly wealthy. When this wealthy person learned that her friend was in contact with the woman, he instructed him to give her a check for $25,000. From that moment on, she was also included in that wealthy person's will, who wanted to support her for her work as an artist. He even included her in his will for her entire life, and she receives monthly checks for $25,000. Although the person who gave her those checks passed away without seeing her again in his life, her life changed drastically. The woman says that, after using this technique, Neville Goddard's free word technique drastically changed her life, and she attributes all the credit to these three words from Neville Goddard's technique. Isn't it wonderful? I emphasize these words because Neville Goddard mentioned them in his book The Law and the Promise. Isn't it wonderful to simply think about all the things you want in your life, visualize them, and daydream about everything you desire? Simply say out loud, isn't it wonderful? When you're imagining your desires, immerse yourself in the feeling of that desire, because that's where the real fun lies. Immerse yourself completely in that feeling, as it will take you to where you really want to be. That feeling is what you're aiming to achieve when you manifest with this technique. It's the feeling you experience when you reach the desired result, the feeling you'll experience at the end of this desire, your goal when manifesting with these three words, isn't it wonderful? So, when you're imagining, visualizing, and thinking about that desire, simply live in that moment. Don't dwell on how you'll get there or what effective steps to take. Don't think about all those things, because it simply feels good when you think about it, right? Don't delve into the how, when, and why. Just know that there's a magical presence around you in the form of energy, and it will take you towards where your desire is. This is what the woman did every night before going to bed. She imagined her desire, visualized being an artist, visualized being prosperous, and said, 
isn't it wonderful? Being present in that desire and saying isn't it wonderful, is the technique that Neville Goddard mentioned in his book The Law and the Promise. You can perform this technique in the morning if you wish, but it's more effective when you do it before going to sleep. Neville Goddard advises his followers to practice it at night before bed due to its effectiveness and the power of our subconscious mind to maintain that feeling, emotion, and thought throughout the night. This is what makes it very effective to do at night. Now, let's quickly review the practice of this technique again. First, when you're falling asleep, close your eyes and let your thoughts flow like a river, flowing continuously. Let those positive thoughts flow without stopping at the rocks and dams. These rocks and dams represent your negative thoughts and beliefs that you cling to because you believe things should be that way. But don't dwell on those negative things because they won't serve you any good. Let those thoughts flow like a river and release all those negative beliefs. Take some deep breaths and repeat those words, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Repeat them as many times as you want until you feel that overwhelming feeling captures you completely. Once you're in that feeling of being overwhelmed, all the images, pictures, and scenes of your desired outcome will begin to appear in your mind. You'll see a clear path where you have everything you want. Then, simply live that moment and immerse yourself completely in it. Fall asleep saying, isn't it wonderful? Do this for 30 days and observe the results before your own eyes. This is a very powerful technique. As I mentioned before, many people have noticed significant changes in their lifestyle after practicing this technique. Now, it's your turn to try it. Write about your experience with this technique. I'd love to hear about your experiences, so try it and rush to the comments section to inspire others with your experience. If you're interested in more Neville Goddard techniques, we've reached the end of this video. If you've made it this far, I thank you for listening to me. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. It would mean a lot to me if you even subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you. To further enrich our understanding of Neville Goddard's teachings and the power of this three-word technique, let's explore two additional subtopics that are closely related to the original text's essence. The first subtopic we'll delve into is the power of emotional alignment and manifestation. This concept is crucial in understanding why the isn't it wonderful technique is so effective. When we align our emotions with our desires, we create a powerful resonance that attracts our desired reality. Emotional alignment is the process of bringing our feelings into harmony with the reality we wish to create. It's not just about positive thinking or visualizing, it's about genuinely feeling the emotions associated with our desired outcome. This is why Goddard emphasizes the importance of capturing the feeling that something wonderful was happening. When we achieve emotional alignment, we send a clear signal to the universe about what we want to experience. We raise our vibrational frequency to match that of our desired reality. We bypass the logical mind's doubts and limitations. We activate the law of attraction on a deeper, more powerful level. We create a bridge between our current reality and our desired future. To enhance your practice of emotional alignment, engage all your senses in your visualization. What would you see, hear, smell, taste, and touch in your desired reality? Practice gratitude for your desire as if it's already fulfilled. This helps to generate the positive emotions associated with having what you want. Use physical anchors, like a specific gesture or posture, to quickly access the feeling of your desire being fulfilled. Create a vision board or use other visual aids to stimulate the emotions associated with your desire. Use music or other sensory inputs that evoke the feelings you're aiming for. Remember, the key is not just to think about your desire, but to feel it as if it's already your reality. This is the essence of Goddard's Isn't It Wonderful? technique. The second subtopic we'll explore is the role of the subconscious mind in manifestation. This concept helps us understand why practicing the technique before sleep is particularly effective. Our subconscious mind is incredibly powerful. It controls most of our behaviors, beliefs, and automatic responses. Unlike our conscious mind, which can only focus on a limited number of things at once, our subconscious can process vast amounts of information simultaneously. 
it's also directly connected to the universal field of consciousness, making it a powerful tool for manifestation. When we practice techniques like Isn't It Wonderful, before sleep, we're taking advantage of several key factors. The subconscious is more receptive when we're in a relaxed state, such as when we're falling asleep. During sleep, our conscious mind's barriers are lowered, allowing for deeper programming of the subconscious. The subconscious continues to work on our last thoughts and feelings as we sleep, effectively extending our manifestation practice throughout the night. Dreams can serve as a playground for our desires, further reinforcing our manifestation efforts. Upon waking, our subconscious impressions can influence our conscious thoughts and actions, aligning us more closely with our desires. To leverage the power of your subconscious mind in manifestation. Create a relaxing bedtime routine that prepares your mind for your manifestation practice. Use affirmations or self-hypnosis recordings as you fall asleep to reinforce positive beliefs. Keep a dream journal to track any insights or manifestations that occurred during sleep. Upon waking, take a few moments to recall and reinforce the feelings and images from your nighttime practice. Throughout the day, use triggers, like the phrase isn't it wonderful, to reconnect with the feelings you cultivated before sleep. By understanding and utilizing the power of emotional alignment and the subconscious mind, we can significantly enhance the effectiveness of Goddard's three-word technique. These concepts explain why simply repeating isn't it wonderful, while feeling the emotion of your desire fulfilled can be so transformative. As we integrate these ideas with Goddard's teachings, we create a more comprehensive approach to manifestation. We're not just using a technique, we're aligning our entire being conscious and subconscious, emotional and mental with our desires. As we conclude this expanded exploration, I invite you to reflect on how these insights might change your approach to manifestation. How might your practice evolve if you focused not just on the words or visualization, but on achieving deep emotional alignment? How could you better leverage the power of your subconscious mind in your manifestation efforts? Remember, you are not just a passive observer of your life, but a powerful creator. Your emotions and your subconscious mind are potent tools in shaping your reality. By aligning all aspects of your being with your desires, you can become a more effective co-creator of your life experience. I encourage you to take this knowledge and put it into practice. Start by really feeling into your desires as you practice that isn't it wonderful technique. Pay attention to the emotions that arise and nurture them. Create a bedtime routine that prepares your subconscious mind for powerful nighttime manifestation work. And most importantly, be patient and compassionate with yourself as you embark on this journey. Changing deeply ingrained thought patterns and beliefs takes time. It's a process, and every step you take towards alignment is valuable. Thank you for joining me on this profound exploration of Goddard's three-word technique and the deeper principles behind it. May your journey be filled with wonder, discovery, and the joy of conscious creation. Until we meet again, remember, you are a powerful manifester, shaping your reality with every thought, feeling, and belief. Embrace this truth, align your entire being with your desires, and watch as your life transforms in ways more wonderful than you could have imagined. Isn't it wonderful?